it's the preacher and uh, we're going to do a quick garden tour as you can see we're we're getting all the plants that we started as seeds we're getting them all put into place we're going to get the cages and everything out and get them all going where they're supposed to be and this video is more for me than it is for you because i'm going to show where everything's planted that way i don't have to stick those little stickers in the ground and hope they don't wash off or the dogs don't chew on them or whatever so i've learned when i plant before i even get them out of the pot i walk around i know what's what i can see and so this is my way of remembering what cucumbers which because i got three different kinds and like five kinds of tomatoes and so anyways I'm going to do a walk around. I'm going to show you what's planted where. And then you can keep up with these if they do good or they don't do good. Or you've always wondered about Wonderberries or whatever. Uh, I'll show you what we got going so far. And um, this is more for me than it is for you. But if you want to watch, that'd be great. Okay, we got two cattle panels on the new uh, cedar bed. I have two. These are called Summer Dance Cucumbers, and they are supposed to be early producers. On the end of that bed, I have two Mortgage Lifter Tomatoes. Right here at the end of the radishes and the lettuce, I have Sweeter Yet Cucumbers. And Sweeter Yet Cucumbers, these are right in front of the broccoli, the little broccoli plants. In between the two grow arches or cattle panels there is a let me see what that one is golden golden sunberry will go there we'll have a one golden sunberry tomato in the old raised beds we will have pickler cucumbers uh, what was the name of them do you remember something pickler mr picklers i don't know something like that they will be right at the end of the Pickler's Pride, they will be right at the end of the squash and the zucchini. In that far bed over there, the little short bed uh, that's only six inches tall, those will be four wonderberries. Four wonderberries. Okay, here at the new raised bed that's running east to west, I have the first two plants are going to go up this big, uh, this big cattle panel. These are yellow pear tomatoes. They were real small, um, kind of like a cherry tomato. Right past them, I have three Arkansas Travelers. So I have three Arkansas Travelers going in in the remainder of this bed. Over here, I have four Purple Russian. Four Purple Russian tomatoes. And so that takes care of everything for right now. In this center bed, where there's nothing yet, uh, there will be peppers here. I think I have some paprika and some jalapenos that will go in there uh, pretty soon, but... For the time being, we're going to leave that one empty. And ground cherries or gooseberries will go here after the radishes and the lettuce are done. We're going to get to planting, and I'll show you what it looks like when we get done. All right, here's what we got when we're done. Everything's strawed in. Of course, I got nothing in that center row. That'll be the pepper row. I got some paprika peppers and some jalapenos I could put in there, but I'm going to wait and do that. Of course, I got the two picklers over there, the big yellow tomato in the middle, and uh, these over here are sweeter yet. Those are sun dance or summer dance. Summer dance is supposed to be early, like 50 days. Uh, purple Russians, I think. I've never planted those before. I've never planted any of these. Well, I've planted the picklers before. Um, Anyways, and I planted the little yellow pears and the Arkansas Travelers. That bed's all repeats. And then, of course, we got the Wonderberries over on the end. So there you have it. It's all done. Oh, let me show you this blackberry bush. This right here. Let me get over here. Maybe you can make it out. Uh, that, this, is one, this is one blackberry bush. You can see down there on the bottom right there. That is the one stem. This is a futon frame that used to be in my daughter's room and I was gonna haul it off for scrap. And we drove a couple fence posts in the ground and I kind of spread it out a little. So it's about eight foot probably now. Anyways, it overlaps itself a couple foot on each end. Anyways, I've got one big branch going there, one big branch going there, one going over the top. I want you to look at all the blooms that are budding out, getting ready. I'm about to have some blackberries this summer. These are uh, some kind of domesticated berry. 
I got these from uh, Fitch Preacher Farms. Uh, he's a good fellow preacher of mine. He started doing some YouTube videos. He gave me that year before last. We got maybe 20 berries last year. This year, eh, you know, barring some drastic measure, we should get a couple hundred. And then my wife's uh, strawberries are blooming out. Should have a few strawberries as well this year. We got the garden done. All we got to do is put the tomato cages up. And we will do that when we get some cane poles to weave through them. I like to stick some cane poles through them so they have some stability. And we've got to run a uh, cattle panel along that squash and zucchini row. We're going to try to grow it vertically this year. Holly at church gave me the idea and I think she's on to something. So we're going to try it. Anyways, thank you all for watching me label the garden. And hopefully we're eating high on the hog this year. Anyways, see you on the next video.